Hello, um, my name is Hannah and I just wanted to share kind of like my story with you. Um, it is Easter weekend, it's Good Friday, and um, my church from back home is just encouraging us to share kind of the story of our lives and I have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and so I just kind of want to share with you how I got to that and how I am where I am now. So, um, I grew up in a Christian home. Um, my dad is a pastor. I grew up in a ministry family and a lot of people think that's like weird or was probably different. And it probably was compared to most people's experiences, but it was a huge blessing for me. Um, my parents just taught me, um, a lot about the Lord and I grew to love him myself um, not because of what my parents were telling me to believe but more so what they were encouraging me um, just in what God had taught them and how God has been the rock in their lives so um, naturally I'm just a sinful person so I did not come to a personal relationship with him until I was eight and I just decided that day I remember um, I actually went to like a little women's conference with my mom and wasn't even supposed to go like I was eight <laughs> and somebody shared the gospel um, and basically shared that we can spend forever with Jesus and we can live an abundant life here on earth if we um, trust in him that if we give our lives to him that he can save us um, and from our sins and that we can live forever with him one day and we can bring other people along with us too um, who also come to know the Lord. And I remember uh, laying in bed that night and just saying, Lord, like I have no idea even all that you are, who you are, but I just want my life to be one that follows you. And um, through my high school years, um, it honestly wasn't until late high school, early college that I really started just to really grow in my relationship with God on my own. I honestly struggled with a lot of anxiety of just, and just fears in general. Um, I went to um, Word of Life Bible Institute for my first year of college. And I remember being up in the middle of the night. Honestly, I think I was having a panic attack. Just like there are so many things in my life that I can't control. Um, and I want to control them. Um, and I knew that I couldn't, and it was during some of those times that were really pivotal in my life of God bringing people into my life and just saying, Hannah, like, you can't do it. That's right. It's not that God doesn't give us anything we can't handle. It's that we can't handle anything at all, and that God is willing to take our burdens for us. He did take our burdens, and, um, he died for all of those on the cross. Um, and so... You know, I just grew um, in my relationship with the Lord through that. Ended up deciding to go into social work. And a big part of that was because as imperfect as I am, as sinful and selfish and hurtful as I can be, um, God has changed my life. And I need Him and I want to serve my life, use my life to serve others for Him. So I went into the field of social work. I loved my schooling for that and have been in my first year of practicing social work right now. Um, and the reason why I go to work every day and I let people yell at me and curse me out and sometimes thank me, but a lot of times just be really ungrateful. The reason why I serve older adults in the medical field is because I love Jesus and I truly want to love others like he did. Um, don't get me wrong, there are some total joys and um, huge blessings that come, of, come from it, but it's not often easy. And I've just been reminded lately um, that as sinful as I am, I just want to share with the people around me the hope that I have in Jesus. He is the reason why I have hope during this season, why I'm in Ohio alone, um, living completely alone, working full time from home. Um, he's my hope. I know um, that this weekend, I'm not just celebrating a holiday. I'm celebrating 
a time when Jesus, who was sent down from heaven, came to earth, rose from the dead, and is living for us today. So just wanted to share a quick part of my story. Definitely have struggled and have so much um, more to grow in, but um, I just want to let you guys know that it's not a blind faith. I'm not just believing in something that I can't see just for no reason. I have so many other stories of how God has showed me himself and how he wants to reveal himself to you too. So message me. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer them. Um, I would love to be respectful of whatever you've been taught or grown up on. If you just have any questions about my experience and my relationship with the Lord, I'd love to share with you the truth that I found in him. So happy Easter, guys, and thanks for listening to my story.